absence, W. Shakespeare. There is a disturbing mismatch in the power dynamic here. It gives a feeling of unease. The lover is at the beck and call of someone, a slave to love, and seemingly a slave in manner, if not actual fact. Nor dare is used or um, sounds rather ominous, like the love is identified as sovereign, or is it a worship-like adoration? Nor think, again, a self-censoring stamp on free thought and powerless to do anything but wait. And nor dare, not allowed to question anything, probably not a slave, the use of the word like here, but it doesn't look like a lot of difference. The tone of this absence is oppressive. Love is mentioned in the end, but in the same line as fool. Absence. Being your slave, what should I do but tend upon the hours and times of your desire? I have no precious time at all to spend, nor services to do till you require. Nor dare I chide the world without end hour, whilst I, my sovereign, watch the clock for you. Nor think the bitterness of absence sour, when you have bid your servant once adieu. Nor dare I question with my jealous thought where you may be or your affairs suppose. But like a sad slave, stay and think of naught, save where you are, how happy you make those. So true a fool is love, that in your will, though you do anything, he thinks no ill.